What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Frank, you're eating a Crunchwrap Supreme while Supreme drafting. No. No, I don't even believe in that. I don't believe in it. We're doing another Supreme draft, though. For the 10th time, can you explain Supreme drafting? No. No, I cannot. If you guys are looking for uh, the definition of Supreme drafting, go to video one that will be in this playlist on YouTube, and it's in the first three minutes. It explains the whole thing. Uh, probably easier than reading the entire Wizards article. Thankfully, though, Supreme Drafting does not involve seven other players in a queue, so I can click on 100 play points, click join, click join draft, and we're already way to go. Oh my god, Tide's about Tyrant again? Also, Rakdos Cobner Car Cobnarium. <laughs> I was like, I'm reading Rakdos Carnarium, but I'm also looking at Gob Hobbler Rats, so I called it Rakdos Cobnarium <laughs> instead of Gob Hobbler Rats. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dan's, Dan's and I were actually having a conversation on Facebook uh, about uh, like ADHD and like symptoms of, of having ADHD. And when I was young, as a child, I was diagnosed with mild ADHD. And I think that's, that's an accurate assessment. Like I feel like it doesn't affect me in my day-to-day -day life. But there's definitely situations like even when I'm streaming where I'll be like answering a question and then mid-question I'll just stop talking or I'll switch to something completely different. And I think it has a lot to do with, like, my thoughts are going a lot quicker than, like, my, you know, like, then, then I'm able to process them or, like. <sighs> so, anyway, all that being said, Crackling Flame, Tide Spout Tyrant, Rakdos Crime, Rakdos Signet are all the picks. Sure, Garner, yeah, I'm glad you like that, buddy. Um, I think it's Carnarium Crackling Flame. Jin is great, but it's also 8 mana in a format with a lot of removal. I like Carnarium. And I like Crackling, Cackling Flames. I always say Crackling Flames. Ooh, Inescapable Blaze. And Command the Storm. We could just take Mono Red Removal right now. Also, Helco Up's pretty decent. Um... Exile creature from your graveyard if you do, put a 1-1 counter on it, otherwise sacrifice this guy. I remember Nathan Zamora, aka That's Admirable, being like, I'm going to buy a bunch of Charnel Trolls because I think it's really good and it's really, I'm going to hype it up really, really, really a lot. And then he ended up doing that. And they never went anywhere. Um, Dan's, I think I want to invent magnetic protective sleeves with magnetic playmats so you can play magic outside without... <gasps> Dance, that's a fucking great idea. You can have light magnets in the sleeves, but then heavier magnets on the playmat so that they don't, they'll stick to each other in your deck enough so that they won't blow away. But what you really want is them to stick to the playmat. That's actually an amazing idea. I'm like kind of blown away by that. Thank you. Oh my god, we should totally do it in the Facebook chat and also have like, um, um, like, we can all be testers for it. I'm going to take an Escapable Blaze because I think the card is great. It's either Command of Storm or Hellkite Whelp here because our red cards are very, very good. Why are they all going in the sideboard? I don't know. Big Black Deck, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Badger with the gifted sub to Mike the Mailman. I didn't even see it because I wasn't on yet, but thank you, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Uh -huh. E-Ink? <laughs> what even is that? I think Hellkite Whelp's pretty decent. I'll take the Hellkite Whelp. Whelp? Uh, Skymark Rock? You may return our card to your little, little toughness, two or less. That's actually pretty decent. Dark Revenant. It's 2-2 two -two Flyer. When it dies, put it on top of its owner's library. Okay. No. This pack's not great, but Ogre Jawbreaker is actually pretty decent. I also like Asperia's Skywatch. We could be Grixis. It's just a 3 3 flyer that detains a creature. Oh, what up, Chorwit? So, I, I think we're just taking Ogre Jailbreaker because it's a 4 4 4 4. And, I mean, I'll probably we'll get, a, we'll get a gate or two, I imagine. But then. 
Like, we can go Lotleth Troll and be green. We can be a Spear of Skywatch and be blue. I think Skywatch is real good. I agree with you. Aetherling is also real juicy. I love good Aetherling. So is Warleader's Helix, though. Wow, Aetherling is bananas. Badger, if you're a figment of everyone's imagination, I'd be pretty impressed. That's a that's a sizable... Okay, we're definitely taking Aetherling. But we're also going to take Warleader's Helix and maybe splash it in our typical four-color non-green deck. But also with 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 Cackling Flames, Warleader's Helix, and Inescapable Blaze, I feel like we're doing a lot of damage. And then there's a Gruel Turf, and I'm like, oh no. Burning Tree Shaman. Whenever a player activates an ability that isn't a mana ability, it deals one damage. That guy was great back in the day. We can also take Pillory. I like Pillory a lot. Actually, Pillory seems real good. You know what else I like? I like Is It Cronark, especially with all of our spells so far. Let's take Cronark. Um, non green. Guildgate could be fine, actually, especially in this pack, which does not seem super good. We could take Centaur and... Oh, not green. Not green. Okay. 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 Well, that's worse. Dun, dun. I'm going to take Guildgate because A, it works for Ogre Jailbreaker and it helps us pay for the white cards in our deck. Golgari Guildgate, not as good. Um, I don't know if Pyro Convergence is too slow. It is five mana, but it also requires us to... Like, how many, how many multicolor spells are we going to cast after this? You know what I mean? Target player reveals their hand. Gain life equal to the number of cards in their hand. Not great. I'm going to take Knightly Valor. I think Knightly Valor is just fine. Plus two, plus two, and making a token is just decent. Alright. Simic Guildgate, again a green Guildgate. Putrefy, again a green card. Clue Stone, I don't like Clue Stones at all and I probably won't take them ever. Mirko Vosk, whenever Mirko Vosk deals combat damage to a player, that player reveals cards from the top of the lobby until they're four lands, then puts them in the graveyard. I mean, this guy's just a 2-4 flyer for five. That also, like, just mills them. It might be Mirko and then far away. Actually, that seems pretty decent. Beacon Bolt. Total number of instants and sorceries in the graveyard. Let's take Demir Guildgate. Oh, City Watch Sphinx is nice, but how many six drops do we need? Not this many, probably. I kind of like Burglar Rat. I've got $10 for you if you play a deck with Boros Reckoner. Buddy, if I open a Boros Reckoner, I will take it just for you. I think we do want the Demir Guildgate because our mana base is kind of all over the place. We could also just be Jeskai, right? Like, you don't need the away part of this. So we'd lose, like, Jailbreaker and Murkovosk? And maybe not even because we have Rakdos Carnarium. By, whoops, modem died. I do like Beacon Bolt. I think Beacon Bolt is good. But how many instants and sorcerers are we going to have in the graveyard? $20 if you kill a player with Boros Reckoner? I don't even have a Boros Reckoner yet. Good grief, guys. I think it's actually Burglar, Burglar at Notion Rain. I want the Guildgate. Guildgate makes our other cards better and, and gives us not a, a reason to, to play them. 
I don't think it's burglar. It's probably burglar. Actually, let's just take the notion rain. I think notion rain's got to be better than ooh, a blood crypt. Dovin's acuity and a mortify. Ooh, this pack is nice, man. Being able to like play all like four colors is super good. The plan is I can build a prototype for magnetic sleeves and play mats. Then we get a booth at a gaming convention. Everyone who plays card games will want them. We patent the technology license. I, I think this sounds like honestly a great idea. As long as logistically speaking, we can get it to work. I mean, it's definitely Mortify, right? I don't know if it's Acuity here, though. Maybe it's Acuity. Your day of reckoning has come. Okay, boy, if we open a Boros Reckoner, it's gonna be sweet. I got a bunch of, I got a, I got like 50 bucks in the queue for a Boros Reckoner victory. It's either Dome Security or one of the two lands. I think the, I think the land is going to be better for us. Oh, Orzov Signet? Oh, yes. Matthew loves his Signets. Belfry Spirit, I remember being good, right? 1-1, one, one, when it enters the battlefield, or the creature haunts dies, create two 1-1 one, one black bats. So this is three 1-1s one, for five, and then three more, two more 1-1s. One, I'll play that. Definitely taking Signet. I wish there was a, a bounce land in here. This draft format is actually really, really... Um, like, skill... like not, I don't want to say skill-intensive, but, like, thought-provoking. It's very... It, it's very... It requires you to be pretty thoughtful. Prime speakers are gonna. The thing about the new Ravnica sets that isn't great is that um, not only are the lands worse because they're not bounce lands, they're just guild gates, but also the signets are worse because they're clue zones. So they took like all the mana sources from the original original Ravnica and just made them a little bit worse. I think we're taking Grizzly Spectacle, and then we're gonna sort by converted mana cost, so this is a little bit better. Definitely don't think it's luck intensive with zero skill at all. Yeah, it might just be Angelic Edict. We have a lot of five drops, but I mean, this card's good. We're just going to have to go. Oh, Luminant Primordial is nice. Guildgate, not so much. Um, plus three, plus O, oh, and plus O, oh, plus three. This card is very good and limited. We're definitely taking Primordial. That guy's just a solid win condition. I do want some more Signets. I mean, we have six packs left. It's not looking great. Syndic of the Tides as a two drop is probably fine. We have no two drops right now. Except for the Signet, right? Uh, Gateway Plaza is nice. It's also kind of a two drop, ironically. Uh, this pack's kind of unimpressive. I literally might just take the three one for three. Chillbringer's good, but again, our five drop slot is a little heavy. Definitely taking Gateway Plaza. It's also a gate, don't forget, so works for Jailbreaker pretty nicely. Um, yeah, I think it's actually just Vampire or Fairy Duelist. Is this a rerun? Yeah. Oh, is it Boilerworks? No Signet, though. Still, Boilerworks is a super nice pickup here. Um, oh, Steary Thrill's not bad. Are there any more two drops that we can take? Tin Street Hooligan's actually probably fine, especially with all the Signets in the format.
So four packs after this, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, I'll take Tinny Boy. Stab Wound is great. Okay, I'll take a Stab Wound. Thank you. Static Suicide, welcome back. Thank you for the resub, my dude. Might just be Throw Kill Assassin. Dan's and Matt, do you guys not know when each other is going to join the chat? <laughs> I have a feeling you guys, like, it's just like, it's like you guys running into each other on the street. This guy's fine. All right. Oh, is already signet. Yes, on color signet. Yes. Oh, he loves it. Minister is good. Seal of Doom is good. Each other player loses X life. Create X11 Sapperlings or search number for multicolor card reveal put in your hand. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I think it's just Seal of Doom here. I mean, removal's good. Off color signet. Not what we're looking for. I thought I got real excited. I thought it was a non color signet. We got one more pack. It's possible. Elk Tears with the Biddy Boys. I like Azorius Herald a lot. I also like Wrecking Ball. Which is pretty funny because this is black red and this is blue. Okay, guess we're taking Vigi upon. That was an accident. Can I undo that? <laughs> Don't know why it took that, but that's a really sad. I can't even move it now. I I can't interact with the client in any way. Oh, keep, oh, now I can. Okay, that was fun. Yep, that was that was cool. Oh, uh, that was beautiful. Yep. Can someone clip that and see how it happened? Because I really have no idea. I have no idea how that happened. This pack's also pretty bad for our 18th pack, unfortunately. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, 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 boy. Uh, deals three damage to any target. If yeah, this is actually fine. And maybe Judgment. I just don't think we need more removals. But that doesn't, like, this pack is not impressive, so. Take a dispel, whatever. Alright, so we definitely need 16 lands, we need 3 cuts, let's say. I'll take Knightly Valor out. Probably Angelic Edict. You kind of do want to fuse this. A lot of times it is five. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Fine. Our deck looks pretty good. What does Frank Laporte still alive mean? I don't even know what that means. I mean, yeah, I'm still alive. Like... Um, this deck looks fine. Uh, okay. It escalated quickly. <laughs> it's awkward. It's super weird. <laughs> Oh, 
that's fair. We don't have a lot of blue. We have some decent blue fixing, though. Like, four of our lands are blue-based. So I'm just going to play 41 here, because really, why not? This is definitely a format where you have to go to properties and then do this. Let's cut all but the greensies, because there's no green. Wait, hold on a second. Okay, never mind. Just checking. Okay, so sort by convert mana cost. Okay, I appreciate you guys clipping this. Tears with the bitty boys. I like Azorius Herald a lot. I also like Wrecking Ball, which is pretty funny because this is black red and this is blue. Okay, guess we're taking Vigi upon. Yeah, I don't think I could have actually double clicked on that. That's super weird, man. Oh, what up, scissors? Um, okay, so we have the most black cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seems good. Okay, we'll stick with that for now. Um, we have the second most red and white at eight each. So white we have one, two, three, four, six. And red we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Six. Blue we have the least of at six blue sources. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I want to take out two of these. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have three, four, five, six, seven, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three, four, five, six, seven. And that should be 41. Yeah, sweet. All right, cool. Let's well, mulligan. Okay. Let's ship the seven drop. The smell of coffee can reduce the stress hormones produced by sleep. That's interesting. Hmm. I feel like that's relevant to my interests. I can't smell anything. Have you been sleeping poorly? I feel like I'm always sleeping relatively poorly. Oh, man. Okay. Lands do be good. I cannot afford to extort. I mean, I'm getting enough sleep. I just, I'm always like waking up in the middle of the night or... When do you think you get a chance to play the Dagestan? Uh, soon. I also have a deck from like, if you're skinny in the queue. I love your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. That's one of my favorite Simpson quotes. Are they milling us? What is happening right now? I'm actually lightheaded from laughing so hard. <laughs> oh, Christopher. Oh, Christorephus. I'm just gonna get rid of this and get in there for five. Are you gonna sack it to kill an enchantment that doesn't exist? Oh, second fact. When the Nets and the 76ers scrapped their basketball game in 1978 halfway through, hold on. 
they set a new date for 1979 to finish the game. By this point, Eric Money had been transferred between the teams, making him the only NBA player to score for two different teams in the same game. That's amazing. What is this, a rat? Drain pipe vermin. And they can make me discard? I don't want to discard any of my cards. I watched a YouTube video a lot that. I take you're not going to play my story. No, I'm, I, I just haven't had a chance to respond to your email, man. <laughs> this is surprisingly bad for us right now. God, our hand is really good, too. I don't want to discard any of these cards. I guess we can discard Jailbreaker. It's probably just Wrecking Ball this guy and then attack for five. Discard Jailbreaker. It's not great. I don't love it. I mean, it puts him to 10, and we have 7 damage in hand, so... Actually, if we draw land, we can go land Warrior's Helix for 5 because of the extort. Okay, well, no, no. well, it's, it's so good. Oh, we're definitely unleashing, because 2 hits from this guy just straight murders him. 1 hit might straight murder them, actually, because of... Are these milling us? This is so weird. I guess this does return a card from your graveyard, which is not terrible, but... Fascinating. Really? I mean, they're white-black, and they clearly have white and black. I mean, I think we're just on the burn train right now. We have a lot of ways to... That's actually very good. Three one ones is exactly what the doctor ordered when they have a lot of spot removal. So... Oh, there's our inescapable blaze! So they're just dead, right? They're like, let's look at your last card. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that. This five card sideboard. Once you start picking up lands heavily, your like sideboard goes to shit. Thank you. I wonder if dispel is good. It counters their grizzly spectacle. It counters a bunch of their removal. I would like to thank you for your content. Life has been crazy, not just the run, but my oldest son has leukemia. Oh my god, my wife just gave birth to our fourth boy. My oldest in remission. It was con it was content like you that helped me. Oh my god, dude, you're thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate you, my dude. Oh my god, I'm so sorry that the that life's been crazy, buddy. I kind of like the spell here. Here, thank you so much for the kind words, dude. Four kids is wild. I can't even imagine four kids. I want to think about seal for dispel because we have a ton of removal and also. They have a good amount of black creatures. Look at this Vigian Hydropon just staring at us like an asshole. 
Um, snap keep this. We also have a lot of burn in our deck. Like, this is 9 points. Inescapable Blaze would put us to 15 damage. Stab Wound does damage. Pillory does regular damage. Man, you guys just started four kids club. I, I imagine there's a lot of commiserating to be done when you got four kids. All I have is Mike B, you know? That's that's the extent of, of my children. I love your hair. Can I have it? No. Nah. But maybe. But no. I wish I had a thing to play here. But, as a man with very few... I mean, this is nice because it lets us discard a mountain pretty easily. Doesn't Mike B count as four kids? Yeah. Yeah, he do. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Next time we'll have seven mana. That's a good amount. We can also just Esperia. Yeah, this is fine. That's this is just fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four, but we can only do one thing, huh? Huh? Does this mean uh, abilities can't be used? Yeah, so it's just basically like, don't do anything. Don't you do anything. Oh, it is six. Ha ha ha, I was correct. And kill it immediately. Sounds good. Inescapable Blaze. Again. <sighs> well, that's the thing, alright. Push it to the limit. Look at this beautiful mana base we got. Yeah, I guess it's I guess it's not so inescapable after all. Yeah. I mean World Leader Seedlux keeps us afloat in this time of need. We can also just kill this guy. I feel like this guy could be problematic. Well, that's not too bad. Push it to the limit. Walking on the razor's edge. We're just keeping this mountain in hand for this drain pipe vermin. Ah, oh, man. That's where Keening Banshee is just a great card in this format, which is why it's uncommon. That was actually a not terrible draw. Yeah, 
get in there. They have one card in hand. Seems good. Yep. Uh, I, I've been having, been having a great time with Supreme Draft. Push it to the limit. Okay. That's just fine. So we can go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, luminate, eat this. And now we have eight power on board. Oh, the Supreme Draft's always the same group of packs. Uh, you don't get to choose. This one is called Ravica, Ravnica Extravaganza. So it's all Ravnica packs. There's like eight different sets of Ravnica. Oh, what up, Alan? Good seeing you, my dude. I actually feel kind of safe with this dispel in hand. Well, I don't want to pillory that because then they just sacrifice it, which is the same as if they just blocked it here. Yeah, so we get rid of it anyway. All right, I think this game is over. Whew, two swamps in hand. I feel like people are not... Uh, See, it has a thing again. <laughs> that ADHD thing. Um, I feel like people are not valuing lands high enough. Like, fixing. I agree. That's what I mean. Like, when, you're, when I'm looking at, like, seven basics, I'm just kind of like, uh... I don't know if I have seven basics in my deck. No, I mean, I probably do, but... This hand is banging. Turn. Yeah, this this hand's good. Do you think what I was what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, that's literally me. I'm like, yeah, it's really weird to see like. I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Yeah, every deck I've played has been four colors, and it's been, like, easy breezy. Like, if you minimize the number of double-colored cards you have, like, uh, double white, double black, double red, it's really easy to, to do. You know what I'm saying?
know what's happening right now. And we're just gonna bounce this whatever play, whatever land. If like if this is a gain of life land, I'd definitely play it first, then gain a life, and then bounce it, then gain another life. We'd basically be so alive. I, I feel so alive for the very first time. Dude, give me a signet. That's not a signet. Is that POD? It was POD. No, is it? Oh, they didn't do anything. So I'm definitely getting a hit in here. W -w Wild. Oh, wow, this is great. I'm gonna play this. We could Notion Rain this turn if we played Island, but I'd much rather have the white down because we have a double white card in hand and a pillory, and we can just still play five drops next turn. I feel so alive. One, two, three, four, five. For the very first time. All right, well, we are, again, four basics over here and no spells played. I'm very confused. Okay, that seems fine. That's just fine. Oh, Aetherling is a, is a banger. I think this is just game. <laughs> I mean that's presumptuous, right? But like we're attacking for six, they take one, they go to they go to six. We can bounce or kill the next thing they play. Thanks. I haven't thought of them in over a de I haven't thought of you in over a decade. David, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, a Dinrova Hore. Eh? Okay. Well, still gonna kill that thing. Discard a card. Probably just Belfry Spirit. I think we're just playing Tin Street Hooligan here. Just run out the hooligan. Got him. I mean, what do they go to? They go to two here? We got Aetherling again? I like it when Matthew randomly checks in. The fundamental elements of South Town, it really doesn't hold up. Well, you know what they say. I think they're trying to figure out how to live. They have to kill both of these creatures and deal with the pillar in two turns. So they could not, they decided they could not do it. I'm just going to submit. I think our deck is perfection. Perfection. Whoo, two planes, huh? I'll ship it. Well, that's worse. Okay, well. Hey, let's play first. Oh, wow. That's wild. You know what? I don't love it, but we got to keep it. It's very weird that we've gotten this many planes, but... Ship a Mirko. Ship a this guy. Rakdos Kernarum would be a banger. 
Wrecking Ball. Okay. That's good too, I guess. It's not great. Rakdos Karim gets a. Let's just play this. And this, and this, and this. Okay. Well, well this is how you lose, I guess. This is just a Cordus car that dies? <laughs> what? Wow, that's an expensive anticipate. Buddy. Okay, you know what? Okay. It's not bad. Only one land behind here. That Cortusaw went straight to the trash can. Play this. If there's three mana in the pool, just use the three. Oh, wow. They doused that guy in gloom. They're like, hey, man, I got all this gloom for you. Man. Blade Juggler constantly being cast as a uh, as a five mana three two is really something. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, our hand is pretty stacked. I'm going to always yield to this. Are you guys referring to like this line right here? Because I don't know. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but return target permanent to its owner's hand. Sure. I'm guessing your bouncing boiler works here. Or you could bounce your own blade juggler and discard. That would be fascinating. Static suicide, be careful, buddy. Interesting. I think this is fine, right? They have to discard too, so okay, that's fine. I also feel like this play is good for us. I'm like, okay. That's sad. I wanted to play Primordial and get rid of this, but. I'm kind of okay stab wounding it. No. It's the children who are wrong. Yeah, we're just going to Wrecking Ball it. They're going to try to attack to... <sighs> cast their Blady Boy. Yep, Blade Juggler again. Probably just going to stab wound this. They have four cards. We have also four cards, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, or one shy of being able to play Whelp and Stab Wound, which is unfortunate. Whatever. I'm just going to stab wound it. Actually, maybe we just play Whelp here. I don't really care about this. We can easily take three, and I'd kind of want to have a guy on the board. 
One, two, three, four, five. I mean, they would have bounced our boiler works, and they would have we would have had to discard something. So interesting. Okay. Where's an Aetherling when you need it? Oh, this is this is pretty banging. We can bounce our guy and then make them sacrifice. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hurricanes used to happen to me often. Now I live in Colorado, though. And if there was a hurricane in Colorado, I'd be pretty concerned. I'm no meteorologist, but mountainous regions not often known for their hurricanal activity. Fuse it. Bounce. Sack. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Colorado's going quite all right. I mean, I'm just hoping they don't ever have counter spells, but I don't think there's that many counter spells that are actually played in this format. God, those are the most famous last words ever, right? I'll take Hurric Anal for, for 400. Oh, it worked. Oof. That was another banger. So, one, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. All right, replaying my dragon, boy. So now we have, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We have a creature. No longer have a creature. There's so much removal in this format, it's wild. Oh, they hit the Nazoria Signet of Swamp? Wow, you're doing me favors now. They saw your creature and they were like, Welp? <laughs> oh, Matthew. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. One, two, three, four. This guy. I really don't care about your one, two bat with extort, let me be honest with you. Oh, that card's good. What are you doing? You don't want to discard any of your cards. I guess we'll discard Stab Wound? Jeez. That's really bad. Interesting. Wish I had that planes in hand. Alright, three cards to three cards. But I got two beefy boys on board. Oh, hoo, hoo, we got a big Mortz boy. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Hopefully they get rid of this guy so they get to... Oh, yes. X 
Excellent. Looting and polluting is not the way. Here, what happened? Ca Hapton, Hapton, Captain, Hapton Planet. What the fuck is that? No oh, seal of doom. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana, so we can just play seal. Give him the old cat. I gave him the old cackle. What do you want from me? You can seal my doom, seal my doom. I'm working on it. We're going to seal it. Don't get it twisted. Notion rain. I feel like this bat's actually doing a lot of problems. They're doing a lot of... They're doing us a big problem. Did you know that selling is service? And also a corollary that service is selling. What are you saying right now? Josh, I think you've been drinking. I wasn't allowed to watch Captain Planet when I was a kid. My parents had an issue with environmental cleanliness. They hated that shit. I'd really appreciate it if you played more spells and less, more creatures and less spells. Did I not get a black? Yeah, I'm just tired of taking this bat damage. I mean, this is going to be enough. I don't need to take three from the bat every turn as well. Oh boy, yep, that's unfortunate. The power is yours. All right, well, this guy's gonna keep on hitting me. See, this is what happens. You break out of jail, they put you right back in. Living rooms, bedrooms, dinettes, oh yeah. Montgomery Flea Market. <laughs> this is lethal. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this is just this is this is fucking bangers. It's just like it's just like a mini. Maul. This is exactly lethal. 11 to the dome. Hit him in the dome piece. I'll good games him. I don't know if they're, they're probably going to be sassy though. Don't be sassy. Dinettes. Montgomery Flea Market. It's just like, it's just like a mini Maul. <laughs> oh, 11 to the old. Oh, 
No, don't leave. It's just like, it's just like a mini mole. We're 4 0 with this deck. Jones Barbecue Fubs. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are bringing out the fucking bangers, dude. You guys are bringing out them old school YouTube bangers. Jones, good ass barbecue and foot massage. Wow, it's literally, if you type in Jones on YouTube, it's the first thing that comes up. Jones, barbecue and foot massage. Jones, barbecue and foot massage. You better come down here, get some of this shit. You like to eat? America loves to eat. So why not open up somewhere America can sit down, enjoy a meal, and get their feet rubbed? We'll fry anything you want for $5.99. As long as it's friable or edible, we're gonna make it deliciousable. We will fry parts of the chicken you didn't even know was friable. The beak, the feathers, we'll fry candy bars. All that European stuff that you don't really normally eat, we'll bring it down here and fry it for you. Ask McDonald's to fry something other than what they normally fry. Guess what you're gonna get? Nothing. If it fit through the dough, I'll put it in the fryer. Hell, this is a dinosaur. All I need to <laughs> gently tenderize to their optimum deliciousness. We got fine dinosaur meat. Took my money, paid me pay child support. Come on down here and get you a slice. Once they get your social security number, it's over. Motivated, 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 motivated. <laughs> so friends, let's just decide you don't want no barbecue. Well, that's fine too. Why not let one of my foot specialists or myself perform my magic? Look at that, don't they look wonderful? If you really pay me enough, we'll massage your feet in any of these sauces also. Success is the rule <laughs> down here at Jones. Good ass barbecue and foot massage. So go ahead and give me a call or find us on the worldwide internets at the new website. That's J-O-N-E-S big ass truck rental and storage dot com <laughs> backslash Jones. Good ass barbecue and foot massage dot H T M Excuse me, did you call number 52? Did you? Uh, is this hand capable? I don't know. Super friends, have you never seen that? This hand's borderline capable. Thank you. Adam, where you been, buddy? I was actually like, man, I haven't seen Adam in ages. What's going on, my dude? I'll keep it. We're on the draw. We got two lands. Everything else is real expensive, though. It's not a fast format. So, you know. Maybe I got that going for me. Jones barbecue and foot massage. See, now we're talking. Ding, ding, ding. We're going to play this first because there's no reason not to. And also because if we get a signet that we can toss down on turn two to make this boiler works just feel a little better. Well, don't like that. I'm just going to keep going. I don't want to discard anything. Our hand is very, very good right now. And if we can just avoid discarding. Nailed it. That's all we wanted. John Bombagin foot massage. Motivated, 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 motivated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's slow down. I didn't know they didn't do anything. That's wild. Doom, doom, doom. So we can just play Ogre Jailbreaker, which is probably the correct play, right? Are they just playing two colors? I mean, the Seal of Doom is looking, looking rough. Uh, okay. Dang, it's Syndic of Tides. More like Shit Dick of Tides, am I right? Motivated. Gotta keep them motivated. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're definitely not playing. Your boy. Definitely not going to be running out of Netherling until we have protection. Probably like two extra blue sources is my guess. This guy dead too? Okay. That was not very impressive, but alright.
Ding, ding, ding. Other creatures, just a 2 4 for 4? Mm, okay. That guy's good. Jones barbecue and foot massage. I just don't feel like dealing with that. Also, Hellkite, Hellkite Whelp just kills this Azorius Herald? So that's wild. What up, Hunts? Thank you. Oh, May 1, what up? Welcome back! 10 months! I appreciate you, buddy. Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage. What's going on? Are they going to take this? They have three cards. We have a grip full of gasoline. Are you guys talking about Jones good ass barbecue and foot massage or are you talking about Jones big ass truck rental? Mm. Did you just say Jones barbecue? Yeah, we actually literally just played the video too. Come on, buddy. Come on, you must have got here within the last like three minutes. Turn a creature from punk and turn your greater hand. Shh. Oh, they just. <laughs> All right, I guess they conceded. Well, that's a thing, I guess. I mean, again, dispel seems pretty decent. Seal of Doom probably. Well, they got a bunch of white creatures. I'm not gonna play forty-two. I'll cut far and away. They conceded the game. Jones barbecue and foot massage. The last spell they played was Mausoleum Turnkey. Thank you. Kyers, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. This is such an odd format. I can't wait. It's really fun. I've been really enjoying it. One of the things I love about drafting is interaction and having lots of different options. And, like, I feel like normal draft formats kind of limit that because you're just playing a, a very, very low power level set. Um, the fact that you're getting so many first picks in this format means, like, that you're actually not doing that. That's not happening. Which is super nice. So it kind of has like a cubey feel to it. It feels like almost a Ravnica cube. I actually want to play Gateway Plaza because we have Tin Street Hooligan here. So any red source lets us tin those streets. Plus we don't have anything to ramp into with... Uh, with the signet just yet anyway, so. 
Half cube, half chaos draft. Chaos draft. Chaos. Chaos draft seems pretty apt. Yeah, I can I can get behind that. I would love to kick this and kill this, but we don't have a second red right now. It's unfortunate. Do we play Signet? Yeah, we do. We just go Signet into Thrill Kill Assassin as a two. Blocking is for babies. This is so... Unexplained disappearance for no value just to, like, bounce a two... Like, just to surveil is so weird to me. Jones barbecue foot massage. Now it'll be stuck in my head all day. Okay. Warped physique. Sounds good. Alright, red source. Oh, you slow biscuit. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Next turn. Next turn we'll get him. I can help get that out of your head. <laughs> John, Mom, can... They have two cards in hand. When you cast a multi-color spell, draw a card. Yeah, we're definitely killing that instead. Four, five, six. We'll have seven mana. Eh. Get that out of here. Sure. Well, they get a they get a trigger out of it. So do we. Um two, three, four. Spectacle this dude. Oh, we hit a chill burner. That's pretty good. Oh, we just win the game again. 6-0, 3-0, Crushing, crushing Supreme Drafts. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frank4. Manatraders.com, where you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to use those. You can find those in the description. Uh, Patreon.com slash frank Lepore. It's a great way to support the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.